fuck. Oh, fuck. Why the fuck do I do this with my life, guys? Why the fuck do I do this with my life? What? <laughs> what in the fuck have I been reduced to? You know, <laughs> oh God, yes, little dog. <laughs> I have no idea even why this little dog pits up with it. I ha I have no fucking idea what I am doing with my life. Uh, my, my life has, has just reached a point uh, of just such fucking hopeless, dark, bleak absurdity. Uh, Here it is. What time is it? 10.30 on a Friday night on uh, the Friday, November 29th, 2019. Uh, you know, I was supposed to be uh, right now at this picking party at my friend Sally, at Aunt Sally's Sloppy Seconds Picking Party. This is where you know, a bunch of my clueless, lovable friends getting together tonight. What we, what the shtick is here is you get the leftovers from all the food that you couldn't stuff in your fat, clueless face yesterday for Thanksgiving. And we all pile it into this one big hobo hash kind of thing at Sally's house and stuff our faces a second time with the shit we couldn't fit in our fucking clueless fat faces yesterday. And then drink a bunch of liquor, smoke a bunch of weed, and play the same fucking songs that we've played a hundred thousand times before, have the same goddamn conversations that I've been having with this uh, lovable gang of clueless fucking morons uh, for the past 20 fucking years of my pointless existence. I just, I, I just could not face it. I, 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 I tried, guys. I really tried to uh, get up out of this goddamn chair and uh, get dressed and get in my gas-sucking truck and go through these motions. But then I started thinking, Hamba, hey, if you go and do this, you know goddamn well you're going to get all fucked up. You're going to be partying till 2 o'clock in the morning. And I've got to get up tomorrow and uh, go to the... Uh, Optimist Club Christmas Tree Lot that I have been guilt tripped by the Optimist Club to showing up there a total of six more times. It'll either be four, or five, or six times, depending on how late we stay open this year. Uh, so I am getting up tomorrow at age 60 with my herniated rib. And I'm going to get up there and, and go sell Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons for the Austin Optimist Club for $12.50 an hour. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I've been sitting here with my, uh, 
with my thumb up my ass. I have been sitting in this room now for, well, 38 hours. I got home from my Thanksgiving meal 30, I'm sorry, 26 hours ago. I have pretty much either been asleep in this bed or sitting in this chair for 26 hours. Uh, tapping away on this little computer, talking to my imaginary friends, uh, you know, my little imaginary friends. I'm dealing with this fucking hacker fucking with me, you know. Uh, good God. I don't know if this is some fucking asshole that I know, or just some total goddamn wacko stranger coming into my life, uh, just to just to fuck with me. You know, some person, even if it is the person who I think it is and that I quote know, is just now another one of my imaginary friends turned one of my imaginary enemies on the other side of the fucking world. You know, some goddamn blip on a computer screen that, uh, you know, sucking all this energy out of me. And then, I've, 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 in the middle of all this today, with all of this other shit weighing on my brain about what the fuck I am doing with my life, this goddamn... I don't know what to call this guy. Super Deep Zone. He is, uh... He, 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 you know, he, he's just... He's just sad. Is uh, I mean, I'm guessing it's a guy. Uh, I'm thinking that this is a fairly young person who, you, you know, is, is starting to understand... Uh, how completely, totally fucked he is, and 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 I have nothing but pity for him, and and for some reason here is this this, this goddamn blips on a on a computer screen. Obviously, as I say, I'm assuming a young man uh, on here uh, just clinging to some desperate, pathetic hope that, that, that his future uh, just does not, not, you know, just isn't going to be Mad Max meets Godzilla. Uh, and, 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 and what the fuck am, am I getting into some argument w w with this motherfucker for? That this is some pathetic little asswipe who is nothing more to me than, than, a, than a goddamn uh, figment of my imagination and a, and a little, and, and some zeros and ones, mostly zeros, uh, on a goddamn computer screen, some total fucking stranger who has nothing to do with my life, that, uh, that I have nothing but pity for. Uh, and, 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 and he's trying to uh, engage me in, in some sort of fucking firefight. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit that I'm actually sinking down to his level. And I'm wondering, what, what the fuck are you doing this for, Hambone? And, and well, anyway, next time he comments... I, I'm just going to do us both a favor and just shit-can him off of here. Uh, it, he has dedicated his life, apparently. I, I, I don't know what this little fucker thinks he's going to do, uh, that, that, that he thinks he's going to convince me uh, that, uh, that he is not completely fucked. And, and for every year younger than I am, he's one year more fucked than I am. Uh, he, he is determined that he is going to convince Hambo Littletail that he's not fucked. Uh, and, and why do I want th this young man who I have never met, never will met, who means nothing to me in, in my life, 
why why am I even engaging this ignorant, clueless little fucking moron in, in, even in, a, in, in any sort of debate? I was, uh, you know, telling my, I mentioned on another rant, you know, that I was, uh, you know, actually got in a conversation with one of my clueless, lovable friends at this Thanksgiving party, you know, and she was asking me about this, uh, about my Doomer channel, and I wasn't even going there with Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I was just talking about Collapse Chronicles. Just that level of Doomer, you know. She wanted to find out more about my channel, and I'm just saying, darling, uh, you have no interest. I said, do not ever go on my channel. And she goes, what are you talking about? And, and, and I said, darling, I said, I do not wish on my worst enemies. I, I, I do not wish on Donald Trump, the most despicable human being on the planet, Probably my worst enemy on the planet, someone who will never hear, uh, never know I exist. I would not wish my worldview, my acceptance on a cellular level, that we are so fucked on my worst enemy. You know, as I was telling her. And, and, and it's the same thing uh, th that I'm telling this clueless fucking moron, uh, Mr. Whatever, Super Deep Zone. Uh, the guy's about as deep a as a fucking onion skin. Uh, and, 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 and why do I want th th this fucker to, uh, who I've got nothing but pity for? Uh, why is he so? Why is he so supercharged to uh, to convince some fucking uh, you know fictional character, uh, imaginary whatever I am to this fellow? I, I don't know what the fuck I am. Why does he give a fuck? Uh, that, uh, that that I'm sitting in this chair, obviously. Uh, he is sitting home alone on Friday night, too, uh, making the focus of his life uh, pointing out to, to some old doomer sitting in a chair holding a we are so fucked sign that we're not fucked, meaning that he's not fucked. Dude, if you want to fucking believe you're not fucked, cram your head as far up your fucking clueless ass as it can go. You know, you have my complete encouragement to think that you aren't fucked. Why are you hanging around here listening to me if, if, if you don't want to hear what I have to say? Uh, get the fuck out of here. I, I, you know, I just, I, I just don't get these, these, and, 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 and he's not exactly, a, well, he is a troll, but, but, he, he, you know, uh, he, he's not just your average whatever troll, uh, just some, you know, the, someone who does not know the difference between ITS and IT apostrophe S. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, he's obviously an educated, probably in a college educated young man uh, who thinks that he fully, f that he's down in the deep zone, that he understands, that I'm guessing he's about half my age, and, and that he that he has it all figured out. Yeah, yeah, brother, I remember when I was your age, young man, I had it all figured out uh, at, at age 30. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you know, uh... <laughs> But, but, you know, he's just brought home to me, <coughs> just in living, well, one thing he's brought home to me, 
is uh, just what I was talking about with this other former uh, little limp dick lefty social justice warrior uh, mainstream environmentalist, this guy who I'm going to be interviewing on Collapse Chronicles here in the near future. Th this fellow, I guess he heard me read one of something he wrote or said, and he just found me on Skype and calls me up on Thanksgiving morning. Out of the blue, I, I get this call from this guy, and we immediately hit it off. Uh, he's a he wouldn't tell me how old. He said he's a few years older than me. He's probably, I will figure he's 65, and uh, he is pretty much, a, you know, uh, at the same place I am. Uh, just, just understanding that we're so fucked. And so we, you know, we talked for an hour yesterday. It's like we were old friends, just two peas out of the pod. And, you know, as we were talking about that, it is, in, in many ways, the, these fucking little limp dick, lefty, greeny, uh, hopium-soaked, apocaloptimist that are, in, that are in some ways more infuriating than, uh, than, than, than Trump tards. It's, it, it just really brings home the absolute hopelessness of, of, of how of how fucked we are that these these people you, you know who are not absolute clueless fucking morons in some ways these apocaloptimistic whether they be techno utopians or whatever they are are they they they're just more depressing in some ways than Trump tards, but at the same time, you, you know you you gotta love them and 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 when you get into the place that I'm at and that this other fellow uh, whose name I don't need to mention right now is at. You know, just trying to uh, just trying to figure out what to do with the rest of your life when you understand this, that this is the essential question. Uh, as long as you're suffering some fucking little apocalyptic myth. Uh, that we're going to turn this freight train around. I, I guess your life, quote, has some purpose, but when you understand that we are not going to turn this freight train around, it ain't going to happen. Uh, when, when you fully understand how fucked we are, uh, and, and, and you realize how alone you are in the world, I mean, what are your fucking choices? To be absolutely alone, uh, to try to find a, you know, a community of like-minded friends or whatever, but you're, but you're going to, if you want to have any, if, you, if, if for whatever fucking reason, and I don't know what the reason is that you want to continue being part of the goddamn human race and, and with each passing day uh, this becomes more and more of a mystery why the fuck do I want to be part of this you, you, you know you are just gonna have to pick your poison and uh, this is why I ended up uh, at that Halloween part I mean the Thanksgiving party yesterday that if, if the choice is to surround myself by these clueless fucking lefties uh, or surround myself by a bunch of clueless fucking Trump supporters. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the lesser of two evils that at least with these with these little limp dick lefty greenies like this uh, fucking super deep zone 
super deep zone. I, I, I cannot think of a more, uh, a more hilarious name for the shallowest person I have met in the Doomosphere and, and how long. The, 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 the hilarious, unintentional irony. This, this guy actually thinks he is in the deep zone. This guy doesn't know the fucking meaning of depth. Um, but, you know, it's, it, at least with people like him, up to a certain point, you can have an intelligent conversation. Uh, about how fucked we are. Uh, it's, it's just when you get to that part of the conversation when they, you know, they, they hit the denial wall. Uh, and the denial is the word so. This is why I separate the word so and underline it. The operative word in a we in the we are so fucked, which is a Derek Jensen quote, not a Hambone Little Tail quote. The most important word of the four is so. It is we are fucked. So even the apocalyptimus can understand we are fucked where the doomers part company with these fucking little hopium-soaked, little lefty, greeny, limp dick, mainstream environmentalist or techno-utopians or eco-modernist. Maybe this little fucktard is an eco-modernist. I don't know. Maybe he's uh, with the Green Party. Who, who the fuck knows? Uh, you know, this word, so, is what separates the doomers from the, the, this pack. So, the, they're, you know, what do you call these people? Uh, I guess I owe this, this, this child uh, somewhat of an apology because they're not completely clueless. As I say, that, that's what makes them in some ways more frustrating. Uh, you know, trying to talk to a Trump tard about what's going on on this planet is like talking to Sancho Panza. You, you, you know, uh, Sancho Panza and Donald Trump have the same level of interest. Uh, on, on what's going on on this planet. It does not enter their consciousness. Uh, but it, at least the, 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 these goddamn little limp dick lefty mainstream environmentalists who think we're going to turn this train around, a, it's just... And, 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 you know, as I've said before, we all have to go through the phase, as I told this young man, if, if he were to listen to my... And, and this other thing is, is, is this kid, he cannot understand English, apparently. He's obviously been listening to a lot of my videos. Every time he opens his fucking mouth, he is misquoting me. He is misunderstanding me. He is putting words in my mouth that I never said. He's putting ideas in my head that I never had. It really makes me question if, if he is so grossly uh, misunderstanding what I and other doomers are saying, if he can't understand the, the plain English sentence, we are so fucked. You know, I mean, how many other people, I'm just wondering how many other people, because this guy is somewhat, you know, quote, intelligent, if, if he is so unable to understand what I try to make fairly unambiguous communication. You know, I did go to graduate school in communications. I did graduate with honors 
in, in communications. I, I, I try to think that I am a fairly decent communicator in, in, in communicating. I don't know how I can be any simpler than saying we are so fucked. I, I don't know how this little idiot can not understand the most basic and, and, and as I say, it's not so much him that, but it, it just it, it just makes me wonder how many other people are are completely failing to understand anything that I say. Have any fucking clue uh, what I am about, what Doomer's about, uh, what uh, you know our message. Uh, about you know what is what is important in life at this point. Uh, it just it, it just drives home you know just this absolute pointlessness uh, of, of everything that I'm doing with my life. It's my life has just spiraled down into this absolute. It's just a sick parody. I've just, I've just become a parody of myself. What did this, what did this clueless moron say? Waving my self-righteous cane. He said that I am waving my self-righteous cane. I have no clue what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking, is he talking about my we are so fucked sign? A self-righteous cane. How can a cane be self-righteous? I don't own a cane. I have never owned a cane. This, this, this moron has never seen me wave a cane around a self-righteous cane or not. What the fuck is he talking about? I'm, I'm having a pointless debate with, 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 parent, with, with, with obviously a mentally retarded uh, but that might be a good sign. If he has a mental condition, there is hope for him being a doomer. But, uh, you know, but as I say, I, as I told him about five years ago, I was still, in five years ago, I was still an apocaloptimist. I I, I don't know, people have asked me this question, what was the final event when you, when you fully understood on a cellular level? I, I, I cannot remember if there was one specific event when I crossed the line from being an apocaloptimist to a doomer, and I and uh, I just wonder what the line is going to be for this young man because he will become a doomer uh, virtually. It, well, I, if he's under forty, there's pretty much a one hundred percent chance that at some point in the near future he will become a doomer. He will understand that he is fucked and that there is not a fucking thing he or anyone else are going to do about it. Uh, he will reach that point. Now, is he going to reach that point, you, you know, when his next door neighbor has a fucking gun? Uh, in his face for his last uh, can of beanie weenies. I don't know. Is that going to be what it takes to get through to these fucking uh, lip dick uh, mainstream environmentalists, how fucked they are? You know, what is it going to take? It just, it, it just, it just floors me. Uh... You know, he was suggesting uh, apparently that it that that it takes a genius or a 
creative thinker. I said, no, all it takes is a quick perusal of the mainstream media headlines each morning. What Al Gore calls a, a, a what does he call that, a cakewalk through the apocalypse by uh, opening up the mainstream media uh, every day now. Has he never listened to a Manga Bay rant? Everything is dying. Everything is dying. Uh, and the only question, what was the title quote? I'm, I'm going to be running my interview on Collapse Chronicles with this fellow named Matthew Slater on Sunday. What was so I'm listening to, you know, trying to pick out the uh, title quote for this interview with this fellow Michael Slater. Okay, it's the toss up is well, I got several. Uh, we have the political system is now completely dysfunctional. Choice number two. What is going to be the trigger? Okay, choice number three. A little bit of apocalyptivism here. Whether or not we have a zombie apocalypse is kind of up to us. How about collapse has already come to large parts of the world but the top two are, we cannot plan for a long-term future, can we? I think that's the runner-up. I think I'm going with the essential question of Matthew Slater's life, which is the essential question of Hambone Littletail's life. How do we live not knowing how long we've got. And Matthew Slater has summed it up in that question as well as anybody. How do we live not knowing how long we've got? And, what, and how you live, I think is what he was implying, is you get out there and enjoy it while you still can. That every day uh, you get out there and enjoy what is left of this civilization and this planet while you still can. When you, when you work through the stages, when you accept the fact the undeniable fact, we are so fucked. We are not coming out of this. Nobody knows how long we've got. This shit show could go down tomorrow while I'm selling Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons uh, for the Optimist Club. We need, every one of us, need to decide how do we live not knowing how long we've got. Thank you, Matthew Slater, for, uh, for f framing the, the most essential question facing anyone who has pulled their head out of their ass and come out the other side. And this is the question. And I don't know what the answer is. Like all of us, I'm trying to figure out how I want to live. But it's not sitting here alone uh, on, a, on a Friday night, tapping away, uh, talking, uh, you know, to some imaginary little, uh, just whatever, uh, you know, who has problems. If he's, if, if he's 30 years old, uh, he's got a hell of a lot more problems than I do. Uh, 
and I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be selling Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons. I don't want to be going to sloppy seconds parties. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, I, I uh, you know, uh, figuring out how to live. Uh, whatever I'm doing now, I'm doing wrong. And I want to thank, I, I, I genuinely am in forever indebted to deep, um, what is it, super deep zone. You know, they say everybody, uh, this, is, th this guy is what Don Juan Matus would call a teeny weeny petty tyrant. A teeny weeny petty tyrant is how I would classify uh, Super Deep Zone. Super Deep Zone, I highly suggest you read the works of Carlos Castaneda and look up the term teeny weeny petty tyrant because that is what you are in my life and I appreciate your service because teeny weeny petty tyrants such as this little fucktard are their great teachers uh, for warriors on the spiritual path, uh, which is what I am. Uh, I am a, a flailing warrior on the spiritual path, but thank you, Super Deep Zone, for getting me back on my spiritual path and, and, and teaching me the clear lesson that I don't want to spend the rest of my life trying to convince you that you're not so fucked or trying to listen to your horseshit trying to convince me that uh, that we're not fucked. I don't give a fuck whether or not you believe we're not fucked. I hope for your sake that you convince yourself to the very last minute that you're not as fucked, that you're not one half as fucked as you are, you little fucked tard. Uh, you are fucked. But uh, anyway, that's your problem. It is not mine. Uh, my problem is figuring out what to do with the rest of my life uh, now that I know that I'm fucked. And, 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 and dealing with little fuckers like you is not how I want to spend it. So thank you. I have learned my uh, spiritual warrior lesson of the day. And, it can, and I have to thank uh, Super Deep Zone for that. But of course, uh, since I've answered that part of the question, the bigger part of the question is what the fuck? do I want to do with this goddamn failed, pointless existence, this goddamn hole I have created for myself since falling down this shithole of the doomosphere. Uh, what the fuck did I ever do coming down here? What the fuck was I thinking? I hate my fucking life. I despise my fucking life. I hate everything about what uh, I have become in my fucking life. Bye, guys. That's the dog. <laughs> and old Sancho. Even son, several of you have mentioned, uh, I've gotten several notes that, uh, Hambone, you're depressing the dog. Are you depressed, Sancho Panza? We're going to the Christmas tree lot tomorrow where you can put on your little Santa suit and be the mascot for the Optimus Club. Sancho's so fucked. Bye, guys.